Praise be Jesus and Mary. Today we celebrate this memorial of St. Nicholas, and in the opening prayer of the Mass, we ask through the prayers of St. Nicholas that we be protected from all dangers and that the way of salvation may lie open before us. Now, the reason why um, the church prays this to St. Nicholas is because of an episode that happened during his life. And that was when uh, a father, a poor man, who had three daughters, uh, had been thinking about giving those daughters over to a life of sin in order to make money for the family. So St. Nicholas, who lived in the third century, heard about this, and he happened to be the bishop in that area of the time. And he intervened, and what he did was, at night, uh, unseen, he went and left some money in the, uh, or a bag of gold, as the uh, Lives of the Saints recounts. He left a bag of gold for the father in order to prevent him from doing that to his daughters. You see, because, think about that. If that father had done that uh, with his daughters, what would he have been doing? He would have been closing the path to salvation. We pray that the way of salvation may lie open before us. And that path of salvation is open as long as we are avoiding mortal sin. You know, hopefully we're growing in the life of grace and becoming saints. But the path of salvation is open as long as we are avoiding mortal sin. It is closed by mortal sin. And so we pray to St. Nicholas, protect us from all dangers, any occasions, anything that would lead us into that. And that's what he does for this father and his three daughters. So when the father woke up, he saw the money, and that would be enough to sustain the life uh, of his oldest daughter. And so then St. Nicholas came by uh, again later on, uh, I'm sure once he had gathered the necessary alms, uh, and gave the money for the second daughter, again unseen. And so then finally the third time, when he came to save the, uh, the third daughter, uh, that's when the father saw him. And he was caught in the act of charity, and the father uh, was so grateful, so helpful, that he said, You are my helper, and he who has delivered my soul and my daughters from hell. You see that? Leaving the path of salvation open for these people. And so that's why we pray to St. Nicholas to do the same for us, to protect us from all dangers. And uh, there's this little reflection at the end of this pictorial Lives of the Saints. It says, Those who would enter heaven must be as little children whose greatest glory is their innocence, that is, innocence of soul. And now two things are ours to do. First, to preserve it in ourselves. Remember our Lord says in the Gospel, watch and pray that you do not fall into temptation. Don't fall. Everybody's going to be tempted, but it's important we don't fall. Or, if we have fallen, to regain that innocence by penance, making a good confession. Secondly, our second duty is to love and shield it in others, that we can be instruments of salvation in the lives of others, just like St. Nicholas. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.